Hey guys, my name is Davis, and in this series, we've been working on a robotic bartender that mixes drinks for you and all of your friends. In this video, we're going to be working with some shift registers, we're going to be mounting some more electronics on here, we're going to be 3D printing some more parts, and we're going to be putting some mounting brackets on there for the pumps. Let's get started. Alright, so we just printed these uh, pump brackets here, and we're going to mount them all around the inside, and then we're going to slip our pumps in there. Now I'm going to talk about the design of my electronics on uh, the bartender. And I have um, a bunch of different components that require 12 volt outputs or inputs. So these are, let's just represent these as my pumps. And then we'll say these are my linear actuators. And I'll have six pumps and I'll have six linear actuators. And these have to be powered by a 12 volt power supply. So I have a 12 volt power supply. Let me just draw that over here. And this is designed to take um, quite a few amps. So at, at max uh, current, these are about one amp, one to two amps. And same with these pumps, one to two amps. And this power supply can definitely handle that. But we're going to need some way to control this power supply. And we have an Arduino. But the Arduino is powered at 5 volts. So between this 12 volt power supply and this Arduino, I need a 5 volt power supply. So I'm going to take power from 12 volts, um, convert it to 5 volts, and then send it to the Arduino. The Arduino has several pins, and these pins can be used to um, output 5 volt values, but that's not enough to power these pumps. And also, these pumps and these linear actuators, because they cause a current spike, we can't just directly power them from this Arduino. So that's going to have to come from our 12 volt power supply. So how do we control these with this 12 volt power supply? So there's an answer to that, and that answer is a relay. So I have these relays that I used on my last project. So now we can use these pins to hook up to these relays and use these re relays to control the pumps and the linear actuators. But there's another problem. Since the Arduino only has a certain number of output pins, we can't just wire all these output pins up to all of these relay inputs. So the answer to that would be a shift register. So what shift registers do? Uh, they basically allow you to convert two inputs to several outputs. And I got these shift registers online. They're basically just a chip um, that you hook up on a breadboard or on your own PCB board. And they have eight outputs. So this line would be our data line, and this line would be a clock. And then we have a latch. And so how this works is you have a clock that basically tells you when to use the data coming in from this data line. And you can map those to these outputs based on when you put this latch high. So if this is my clock and my data line looks like this, and this pin was one, this pin was two, three, four, five, and so on. 
1 would be 0, 2 would be 0, 3 would be 1, 4 would be 1, 5 would be 0, and then so on. And this would only set these pins when this latch was high. So now we can take one 5 volt input and one 5 volt clock, one 5 volt latch, which are three pins, and map those to eight pins. And the cool thing is we can actually use two of these shift registers and hook them up to the same data line and clock but use different latches. So now from four pins, we have 16 output. So I've lined all my parts up on this board and I've drawn boxes around them and labeled them so you know what they are. I have my 12 volt power supply which will power this power distribution board and each one of these pins will be powered by 12 volts which can be wired up to each input on each one of these relays. Then I have my 5 volt regulator and my Arduino. My Arduino gives three to four pins to these shift registers, which will output 5 volts to trigger each one of these uh, relays. And so when the relay switches from floating ground to ground on uh, each one of these inputs, then we will be able to power our linear actuators or our pumps. So I'm going to take some time to wire up all of these components and then step through the code for these shift registers and then do a demo on what I currently have um, for my linear actuators on the bartender. Okay, so I wrote this simple sketch to test our shift registers. We have these three pins which are used to load data onto the shift register. And the shift register is basically a memory bank. Um, and once you've loaded that data on there, it stays in the memory bank until you've cleared that data and loaded in new data. So this latch pin is the pin that enables writing. The clock pin enables you to pick the correct data to load in. And data pin is the data to load in when this clock goes high. And then we have our relays byte here, which is basically a uh, byte which represents the pin out on the shift register. So since a byte has 10 or 8 bits uh, and our shift register is 8 bit out, uh, it naturally just works with what we're doing. So when I set up this script here, I want to make sure that all of my pins are outputs and then we run our main loop. So in the main loop, I'm just setting the relays byte value. So you can set it with uh, numeric values. You can also set it uh, bitwise. And you can use this bit set function if you want to set individual, um, individual bits in the byte. And once I've set this value, I just update the shift register. So this function is really simple, just says, make sure our latch pin is low. So when it's low, we can write in new values and we want to shift in um, with the least significant bit first, the uh, relay values for the byte. And then once we write the latch pin high, we can't write values to it. Um, so this shift out function is part of the Arduino library and um, it's just meant for being used with shift registers. So it's super easy. Um, and we don't really have to write any custom logic to do this. But once we've hooked up um, all of our components, we will have to write custom logic to determine the correct mixer bottle and the correct alcohol to pour out. Um, but that will be part of a, a later video. All right, now I have this wired up on a breadboard and um, I have my sample sketch loaded onto the Arduino, and you can see all of the lights on the relay flashing. That, those are what are uh, triggered by the shift register. And um, even though this looks like it's a lot of wires, it's really not. We only have 
uh, three wires from the digital I.O. pins, and then we have uh, two for five volts and ground, but this will probably be hooked up to our uh, five volt regulator instead. And since we can share two of these, the data and um, clock pins between uh, different shift registers, uh, we'll probably most likely only have four outputs from this Arduino. And we'll just change the latch pin when we want to set one of these. So with four pins, we can get 16 outputs, which is pretty good. And I think that will be probably enough to power all of the components on our part number. Okay, so I have everything hooked up now and I could do a bit better at managing these wires down here, um, but this is kind of just a test to see if it would work. Uh, and so I have my power supply over there, I have my power distribution right here, and I have my register uh, relays right here. And then my shift register is down here, still hooked up to that breadboard, and then my Arduino is over here. And I wrote a simple sketch that would test this system and I actually ran into a couple problems. Um, so my shift registers work fine. And let me show you with just uh, two of these linear actuators running at a time. So both of these linear actuators uh, work as expected. So I turn one on, turn the other on, then turn both off. And this works fine. But if I try to um, change that, so all four of them turn on at one time, uh, it actually doesn't work. And I'll just show you that now. So I'll turn this off, but basically what's happening is these linear actuators are drawing too much current from my power supply I thought my power supply was uh, rated high enough so that I could, um, could take the load of all of these linear actuators, but it turns out the power supply can only take a load of about uh, two to four amps at a time. And since each of these spike at about one to two amps um, when uh, they're turned on, four of these is way more than uh, two to four amps that the power supply can handle. So I think I'm going to have to get a bigger power supply in order to make these work. At least we know that the shift registers work and we can definitely use that to control the components uh, for the bartender. All right, so because our post only had four sides, but we have six suspensors, we had to create a new bracket for the corners. So these little ones, these were on the sides, but we had to create this uh, bulkier one here uh, that's a little bit larger than this previous one. And you can see that these mounting uh, holes right here are at a 45 degree angle. That way we can mount it on the corner of a post. Whereas this one, these holes are flat so they can be mounted flush with the sides. 
And then we also printed some more of these little extensions for the actuators uh, because these extend out from the corners a little more so they'll be a little closer to the dispenser. And also because of some misalignment, it's good to have different sizes of these. And then we also have two more of these uh, nozzle collars uh, that the actuator arms uh, actuate. All right, so we hope you guys liked that video. On our next video, we're gonna put some cup holders on a platform to hold all our drinks. We're going to have a bigger power supply to handle all our actuators. We're gonna finish up all our electronics and we're gonna get a motor driver for our motor. We're also gonna make our uh, cup holders spring-loaded, so we'll be building out yeah. a mechanism for that. In next week's video, we're going to make a Raspberry Pi powered smart mirror, which will be voice activated, understand voice commands, and it will have text-to-speech, so we'll be able to speak to you. We're also going to hook it up with um, the weather, uh, Google Calendar, Maps, uh, so you can get some information in the morning. Yeah, so we think that project's going to be pretty cool and uh, we think you will enjoy that video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment down below, share, subscribe. Uh, but until then, see you next time.